Today, Ken here, Ken's Hobbies. So we're going to continue here. And we're going to see what we can get opened up here. Getting this floorboard. I'm just sitting here looking at it and wondering what the devil all these holes are and I think that gives me my answer for why the water was getting into the styrofoam and the carpet got wet huh okay I think the best way to remove this is to do this in sections yeah, it's another day. Found the keys for the what I was saying before to show you guys. How I built these uh, so we got to empty everything out of these cabinets I built. Okay, there's my fishing hole rod holder. Downrigger. Oh boy. I'm gonna mess here. I always carry a uh, little mini sweet saw going down a bush over in a tree is across the road you can always cut it open well needle nose pliers oh forgot how heavy this weight is for the down rigger oh boy This is how I have it set up for the downrigger. So that just slides in up with those two uh, there in. And so you need to do a little cleaning. I had a little struggle putting it on to show you. What else we got in here? Spare battery clip. What? Two of them. Okay. That bottle of mosquito repellent is off. Off. I don't think there's anything left in that. No, that's file wow, 13. Can I have the same basic pattern with the front one as well? Forget what's underneath. Here that I have in these storage compartments. Oh boy. I'm supposed to, according to the forecast, that we're supposed to have thunder showers and rain this afternoon. Here it's nice and sunny. So lately I've noticed you sure can't go by the weather report anymore. A lot of times it's the opposite what the weather report says. Okay, where do I put my keys now? Oh, boy. No, don't. I asked you not to tell me. I misplaced in the game. I asked you not to tell me that. Hmm. These locks back on me. Oh, before I lose them, too. Well, isn't that just hunky-dory? Ah, there's a dip. I've got the ones with the lock for the cabinet. Number two. Aha! Uh -huh. This 
flashlight. A dead battery? Yep, batteries are dead. My little all-purpose nice kit. Another can of off. Oh, that one's full. Another can of off. That one feels empty. Boat key. What the devil was this? Oh, I think this is another compass. Well, which we can't get open. I have to take that in the shop. It's a little WD on it. An empty film carriage. Super stick. Quick, it's easy. It's a snap. Oh, that's for the zippers of the canvas that the wind snow destroyed. And flares. And then we want to keep them in a dry spot. Where can I put them? Uh, put them in here. In behind that. Under the downrigger. Oh, looks like this we got them. But I have another flare. A couple of lures. Flashers. Need to be cleaned. Another spare. Plate, a lemon plate, and that takes care of this one. Now for the other side. Yeah, I think I can use that camera here and get a different angle at these. juice from there. I'll take that in the shop. Uh, oh boy. Put them here for now. Another rope. Put these keys in my pocket before I forget them. Okay, I've got to get these others from the other side. Throw this mat back over there. To zero it in. find all four of these locks with only just one key for all four. There should be another downrigger in here. Now, oh. got a block of 
bottle of uh, Permatex Gasket Maker. I'll be dipped. Forgot I even had that. Well, that's a shop item. Here's a little device I made. So to clean my fish when fishing, just simply took a base pump and I'll throw this hose in the water and that's what the bucket's for here. So this hose in the water on the back panel I have a little I put a receptacle in so that I could plug it in, get my 12 volts for running the uh, hose here. I think I'm going to take that in the shop too. Okay, what else we got here? Fender uh, line. Uh, we'll hide them. Right here. Oh. Downrigger. And the weight. Oh, these ever got junk on them from sitting. Hello! Dismantling. Uh, are you? Pretty well after. I guess you'll float anyway, eh? See me, you're standing there. You want to do me a little favor? Yeah, I don't mind. What is it? Here, there's some. Bottled what? water. Yeah. You don't drink bottled water? Nope. I drink tap water before that. I know it is. That's what I couldn't mm -hmm. convince people back in the 70s, 80s when I got in the water filtration business. Yeah. I got units that takes the chlorine yeah. out of the tap. I don't mind drinking tap water. Either. But Prince George does have the best drinking water of any all the cities I've been in. No, they're all full of fucking. Our very, very little chlorine is used in our water no, here. No, you go to the big places, like uh, oh, big cities. Oh, the hoses rust. just turn yellow. Yeah, there's rust in the water and shit. I had a chlorine tester. Yeah. With, with, there. I'm trying to convince people because of uh, the future. Nobody believed me. Well, look how common the water filter is today. Rusty pipes. It's like living in Paris. Uh, Try and drink the water in Paris, man. We'll fucking see kill you. See if these will sit on the, the fender of the trailer here. No, they won't sit there. Pretty if you sure. put the heavy side to the boat side. This way? <laughs> no, the other way. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, try vertical. It's not going to go that way either. Good. Nope. Bottom to me. Oh, bottom to you. <laughs> On the ground. Like that. What? Not like that. Lay it down. Okay. Watch yourself when you get up. Okay, um, the next one here, put it on top of it. Put it as close to that post as possible. Okay, now I'm going to hand you two more. Yeah, we weren't out long, but we didn't catch anything. I got a good bite, strong bite, but I pulled on it and it never bit again. Yeah, what did I tell you last night? <laughs> What's that? What, did you get stunk? Yeah, that's okay. We're going to go for a nice big trip here on the 19th to the 20th. Okay, here's the last one. They're old, yeah, they just need a good training though. 
and then this cover on should go on, be able to go on top there. Is that thing still on? Yes, it is. Oh. Okay, here's another item. Both these items. Put these if possible so they're on that beam between those two by four. Here? Yeah. These are the back panels for the back here. Same with this. Mm -hmm. I know it's not much, but it'll save me crawling in and out, in and out, in and out. I'll take a cigarette off your hand. Yeah, what else have I got in here? Glass <laughs> 13. Uh, I think that's pretty well. I gotta pull this whole entire floor out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I need my Robertson bit and my gun. Where is it? In the shop. But can I find it easy? Probably not. I'm thinking, I think, oh, it might be here. Might be. Here's what I do. I'm talking about. I just had it in my hand. Where did I put it? Right here. Yeah, you better put this in that pile too. When I go Second fishing, thing. you see that piece that I just handed you to put down? Yeah, put the switches on it. You see the re reset? Well, that's what this is for. Right. So I can clean the fish right at the lake. I just throw this in the water. Suck up my water, clean my fish, oh, yeah. and we're done. Mm. So, I got in between the seat somehow. Yeah, this thing looks like it'll float. Same with this fuel line. Over there? Yep. Yeah, I got the whole picture changed yesterday when I cut this and block out. Ooh. Feel the weight of that block. What did you cut it out with? <laughs> I saw. Oh, That's full of water, eh? Yep. What do you want I that? changed the whole picture. I just throw it on the ground. Well, throw it on top of this. Perfect idea. Oops. Throwing right it on top and it'll hide it. Got to lay it on the cut side there. What? Yeah. Well, hide all that stuff. Mm hmm Okay, so. Yeah, it's here. Perfect. Okay, so. I made it so these are easy removal. take them out again. Well, I've had this in for a lo quite a few years. When you started on it, right? Hey. When you started on when it. When I first got the boat. Oh. They were lower, the original ones. So I made a higher higher there. Because it was too hard on me climbing up out of the uh, original height. So I made it higher. The original was all this size. I had to leave this one, this end, because of the steering wheel. I like these old boats. In a lot of ways, so do I. But uh, Kevin's new boat, holy man, that thing's good. Oh, yeah. And go. It goes faster than this thing. Oh, yeah. And I got a bigger engine than this. Mm hmm but his gets on that I'm going to have to work on a little bit you get mine so it gets up on top of the water so I already know what the issue is hmm. you see this little switch right here oh, yeah. for the trim Because he's in the box 
screw box. This thing? Yeah, there's a little plastic box in that box. Yeah, but... You see the screws in it. Of in them. Most of them are in there. Yeah. Here, I'm going to pass you this. Move your bottle. Where do you want that one? I'll show you how and where. Lay it on the side, like this. Lay it on the ground. Okay, we'll switch the camera over this way. Get these last eight screws out. Fiberglass. Yeah. Boyce just asked me a little while ago, is it worth it? Oh, yeah. Well, yes and no. Oh, yeah. Yes, on my budget, plus my time, and. You ever going to use it, though? You don't have anything to tow it. Yes, I do. I have the car. You're going to tow this with a car? Sure I can. That looks funny. doesn't. I've pulled it with a car very time. A rear wheel drive, remember, in a Crown Vic. Yeah, yeah. Not front wheel drive. Yeah. And it's a big car. Huh. This is and heavy, son of a gun, no. Yeah, but it's got brakes. Yeah. I want to change them from hydraulic to electric. Oh, yeah. Electric are much better. But, oh, yeah, you can feel the when it breaks. Oh, yeah. That's the whole idea of brakes on the trailer in the first place. So you let the trailer slow the tractor down, uh -huh. or the vehicle you're pulling it with. Yeah. Oh boy, one just spin. Great. That can be a little fun. All right, I gotta get. Oh, the cables are off. top of that one and shove the cables back behind that pole as far as you can so you don't have to take this off the cables off my controller for the kicker yeah. perfect gets out of the road now now I can have tackle get this carpet out of here Move the camera out here. Turn it around a bit. Yeah, okay. I've got to give the back a stretch. All right. But you're here to assist me right now. All right. You always say you want to. <laughs> I need assistance. Yeah, you. I do say, yeah. So, today's the day. All right. Sounds like garbage. Pretty much, I'm debating whether to clean it up and keep it or replace it. Oh, I see, we gotta get this. Wrap it off. Okay, let's try this. Got it. Good 
Mm -hmm. Just getting this carpet so it gets all the dirt in one spot. Mm -hmm. We can take it out there and clean it. Take it all off. We'll probably take it out the other side. Well, I thought I was going to walk it to the front here if you want to meet me at the front. All right. I think it would be the easiest way. Meet yourself. I'm having a heart attack. Hey. Throw it down there and we'll shake it together. Ah! It works! Son of a bitch. <laughs> it made my ears pop. Mine too. Did that hear a response come from the house? From the neighbors, yeah. Okay. I think the best way to remove this. is to do this in sections. I'm going to start with the first section. What I'm going to do is start with this center section.
think I'll take enough. A line down the center of this as well. find the bar I was looking for. So I grabbed a few of the other bars I have, plus a hammer. I'm going to start out with see what happens when I just use the bar. particular mini crowbar was originally my dad's. surprises am I going to find here? It is a layer of fiberglass on top of the plywood. We'll all be dead. Hmm. I think they, I think they were thinking that there are fiberglass would stop wood from rotting away. You can see the evidence that the whole floor needed. Okay, there's a slit there. Okay. Okay, so we know 
this was one seat here. this apart in pieces so how big of a piece this is the next question we're going to see if I can't get this in three pieces Try for two. See what happens. Uh. Quite just succeed with. Here we'll soon find out. That'll work. I try the hammer. this one in half. Oh, 
by the way, I took and I blew the dust on this here saw. You remember in the last video, struggling to get that thing to start? Well, I solved that problem. Okay. Judging at this, looks like the floor was originally put on, and when this styrofoam was poured and still wet. So this, both sides. They look good on both sides, just the center section, the evidence all the way down. You'll see more once I get this last piece off of what I'm describing here, I'm talking about. Okay, this is what I decided. When you look at the port side here and the starboard side here where my hands are, we see no color change in, in here by the frame. But when we look on the inside here, we notice down all along there. Let's see it give you a closer shot here. <laughs> Down here, where am I? Get my bar that way I can see. Uh, all down in here, you can see that has all originally been wet, and the base of this is there so got me thinking at this point I think I'm going to have to pull this center section out underneath here as well Recall right. This looks like an afterpiece put in. Uh huh. We have two screws there. Two screws there. So that looks like this is an afterpiece added here. Okay. Well, let's get this radio out. I'm surprised it's still here. Oh, 
I'm going to take that radio in the shop. Okay, let's get my gun. Screw gun. Definitely an after aftermarket. I'm gonna see two screws here. Take them out. I can't see nothing else securing this down. I think I'm going to make a whole new plate here. This is what, what weather does. How weather destroys. This was a very nice boat when I first got it. And that's my goal, to get it back to that like it was when I first got it close to it as I can. That was the other plate mounted on the floor. Oh boy. It's almost like these are poppers that are on. 
I wonder if there's a screw hidden underneath you one of these strips. Well, let's try this side. Aha! I'm beginning to think. Okay. He must have used some pressure, lifted this up, and put this in. So it'd be a tight neck. Let's get rid of this sawdust here. Yeah, getting all over every time I lay down or something. So. Oh boy. New neighbor's alarm again. That thing's always going off. My bag gets full. Yeah, I gotta go empty the bag here. Oh, is it ever full? Yeah, I think I'll shut the camera off at this point for this. Let me be showing you cleaning here. Okay. Well, I sucked up most of the dust and blew some leaves out. Using the reverse of the vacuum could blow most of the leaves out. Anyway, I'll have to get back to this thing. I don't know if it'll show up, but I'll try to zoom in here to show the brackets that I'm fighting with. I don't know if you can see them, but the two brackets were there where I'm shining the light. And it looks like a couple of screws are holding this section down. So well, I'm going to try see if this section comes out. And I'll look. I'll figure out how the person put it in here. This was not from the factory. And this addition, we get two Phillips screws for our fire extinguisher holder. Keep that all as a unit. Put that in a glove box here. Now we'll change bits here. It's been done here. He put it in here and then he jammed the piece of plywood here to jam it in is what it appears to be. Thought of it. I probably ought to see with my back. <coughs> uh huh. Boy, I can't believe how this has got weathered. We're going to take that in the shop and we're going to make make up a new one, a little bit nicer one. Okay. Let's see what serious right. Yeah, okay. 
think we're about lined up. Yeah, we'll give that a try. Well, that camera shut off on me right there at the end of that last uh, frame. And that being said, I did get that piece out. I found that it was screwed at the top, but I'm still trying to figure out how they got it underneath because it has that much of a lip on the step where you go up in the upper deck of the front of that boat. So I just I mean I'm going to be making a new one I just busted the one piece off which broke the screws there and that's what was able to get the thing console out of the unit so with that I'll close this video off now the weather has turned against me and fighting and I've had car trouble so that's why I'm on this boat the most of the there why there's so many videos appearing of this book project now I've got the car to deal with that's on top of it so if it seems like nowadays if it isn't one thing it's another thing anyhow that being said I hope you do like I did let a little bit more, I didn't cut as much footage out of this one uh, like I normally do uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea of length of time and of course with the little help there it operation sped up there a little bit in that one section Anyway, do hit that like button, do hit that subscribe button down below, it doesn't cost anything, it's free, and hit that also hit that bell button, that way you'll be notified when the next one comes out, until the next one. Adios.